committee, we're going to shift again. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about a bill we were talking about last time around. Becky Wasserman has joined us. Geez, Becky, we don't see you much these days. Are you over with that other body? It's you, Joe. Uh, I'm everywhere. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I've been a lot working. in, uh, in house institutions and in GovOps a lot this year so far. Um, and I don't know, house energy, oh, that's sure. another, another one. <laughs> oh, boy. You, you can stay away from our chair. We can't, so sorry. <clears throat> um, see the humor it's still as bad as it always was you, you haven't missed a thing I've um, brought up S245 to talk again committee you may recall this is the bill to do something about uh, what was Woodside what do we do with something by way of plan B but specifically this bill was brought to us by Senator Hooker <clears throat> calling for a retrofit of the Windsor facility. That's dead. And, well, that's the question is whether or not we're going to deal with this bill or we're going to officially kill it. Um, so I'm open to conversation about that subject. I think uh, Senator McCormick and uh, I could, uh, or I don't know about the rest, we could we could leave it on a wall, but that's up to Senator McCormick. <laughs> More conversation? No comment. Wow. No, uh, Senator Mazza says it all. <laughs> I can't I, match the, his eloquence. I can't, seriously, all kidding aside, I can't even imagine us going down that road. It makes no sense. It's, uh, why, why would you want to spend $3 million on something temporary? The town has insisted they've had their share of 50 years of prisons or 100 years of prisons, and they want to get away from it, and, uh, I mean, they've done their part over the years, I think, uh, of, of sharing the, uh, the state prison. So to me personally, it's a, it's a, it's a no-brainer. We shouldn't even proceed. But that, I mean, I'm just speaking for myself. It's just something that uh, uh, it's got no legs on it. Uh, I think a town, like I said, has been very, uh, very good about it. Look what they've done for us all these years uh, for the state prison. In fact, you mentioned Windsor and just and people, the minute they say Windsor, well, it's state prison, state prison. I mean, that, that's what they've had that tag with them for all these years. And they got some nice open land there, and I think they deserve a break. But that's, uh, and to even think about putting a temporary facility there for $3 million, where you know nothing is going to be temporary, number one. And, and if it is, you're going to spend $3 million for something that's going to last a year or two years or three years. We have to have a, a facility somewhere located where the community is responsive to it. And there are many communities, something that's going to be there for a long time. If it possibly has to expand, it can expand. Uh, I, I, I just don't agree with people that, that, that don't want it and fight it terribly and justifiably so in many cases. That's something we should pursue, but that's just my nickel. Okay. Russell, now, now, has... now, okay, now, go ahead. Okay, yeah. I'll say. You just heard that from the Dean of the Vermont Senate, not from the Senator from Windsor who has an obvious ax to grind. And I, I thank Senator Mazza, and he, I think he's absolutely right. I would just also remind the committee of the testimony we heard and the range of attitudes and backgrounds of the people from whom we heard. And uh, the fact is that, Probably, if you look hard enough, you'll find someone somewhere in Windsor who likes this, but they are a decided minority. The town of Windsor really doesn't want this. Now, I know we can put it there if we want to, because we're the state, but because we can doesn't mean we should. And I, that has been the, the view of this committee in the past, that we would not force uh, an unwanted facility on a, on a town. Now, I don't know what we're going to do about uh, uh, Newbury. 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 Yeah, I don't we're gonna, know what we're, we're going to do about that. We'll talk, we'll talk about that in a second. I just want to get okay. past this first conversation. Corey, Russ, I, you guys want to weigh in on I, the uh, Windsor? Uh, Russ, go no, go ahead, Corey. Go ahead. I was going to say, you know, normally I, I, I would maybe be okay placing something, but I think 
I think they've had a prison for so long and, you know, they've done their part for the state of Vermont. I think, you know, they're, they're very clear. I, I'd support Maza and, and Senator McCormick here and, and say, let, let's not do this to them. Yeah. And I'd say that Windsor's out of the prison business as well. And uh, they obviously really don't want it there. And um, I know that there's a community somewhere that would want it there. I would love to think that we could repurpose a, um, a building um, elsewhere um, that, uh, you know, somewhere where it's just sitting someplace where we could put it into uh, use again. But um, with being uh, respectful of the state's money, that isn't always the way that things work and it's not always cheaper, but somewhere, somewhere along the way, somebody wants this facility in their community and be, would be proud to have it. And it certainly isn't in Windsor. And I'm sorry to jump ahead of you, Chair, and I don't mean to be disrespectful, but neither is it in uh, Newberry. I, I might add, Mr. Chair, also, uh, you know, when we're talking about Windsor, it's a bad location for transporting uh, kids and, and being in an area where they could have better services provided. It's, it's, uh, it's way down in the, the corner of the state. And uh, I, I just, like I said, that if you had to pick a spot, if it wasn't there, it, You'd never even be talking about this issue to locate there, but uh, there are those who think the facility can be used, but not a good location. So we've got consensus. Windsor is not the place. I'd like to talk about Newberry and Becky. This is why I actually invited you along in case we need to do something. Um, I know that the administration is appealing the decision in Newbury. And I guess I want to make sure I'm not coming off uh, misremembering something. But I personally was under the impression when Commissioner Brown came to us initially, uh, along with the Beckett folks, that when they made that pitch, it was pretty clear that if the town did not want it, they were not going to push it. Am I alone in that recollection, or does anybody else have any recall on that? Don't all jump out at once. Well, I, I didn't hear. I only, I've only heard what other people have said, and um, and I've only read what other people have provided. I suppose. I didn't hear the commissioner uh, specifically say that they weren't going to push that. I mean, I've, I've heard testimony that that's what said. And I've, I've read some places. I don't know if it was official um, journalized comments that that's what was said, but um, um, it just seems to be that is a consensus of everybody who uh, has talked against this, that that is what Commissioner Brown had said. But I, I didn't hear Commissioner Brown say that. Um, um, that I remember, but I, it just seems to be, that's what everybody thinks he said. Um, or, you know, may, he may very well said it, but from what I, I just think it's, that's what everybody seems to think. That's what commissioner Brown said. Okay. Anybody else have any recollection of that conversation? Oh, I heard one day it was in litigation or it was, it was proposed the next day it's in litigation. So. I don't know what at this point we can do. I mean, it's there again, probably never should have went that far. And let the, uh, let people offer their communities that want it. And uh, but now it's in litigation. I don't know what, what we have to say about it. Do we, do we have any say in it at all? Or how, how does that work? I don't know. I, I don't know the answer to that directly, Dick and Becky, maybe you can help out here. The, um, the decision of the town planning commission was to deny them a permit. They had appealed that. And um, I'm not exactly sure where that litigation is right now, but there's two things I'd like you to look into if you can. And it may be that Alex has to help you here. I would very much like to have um, some kind of a, a transcript or something from the conversation that was delivered to us initially from both the commissioner and Beckett as to what their intentions were in the event that the town objected. 
because I don't want to go out saying anything without having a clear understanding of what that was. And I don't know, Becky, whether it's you or Alex or both of you that would need to team up to pull that back. Um, but I really feel like that's an, an important part of the conversation before we as a committee decide to say anything, if we're going to say so. Um, but if there is grounds for us to say something, are we running afoul of any litigation that's now pending by doing so? And then secondly, um, if we are going to say something, eventually, once we get the transcript, what exactly should we say? I feel totally irresponsible for saying nothing if there's something embedded in our records that made a clear statement um, because I feel like people got shortchanged in the conversation. Russell. Well, Chair, you brought up a very good point um, as far as when you start talking about litigation. And I mean, if it's into that point, I'm certainly not an attorney, but for I, I don't know if we should even be commenting on it, why it's in litigation, but you're an attorney and uh, Ms. Wasserman is an attorney and um, um, you know, I don't know by us commenting on it one way or the other, really, if it if we should be wading into that. Um, right. But I don't I don't know. Good, That's good my point. kind of my thought on that. Good well, point. Yeah, that's exactly why I asked Becky to come here. She's a better attorney than I am. Well, we won't dispute that, but uh, you know, uh... I just want to make sure we are covering bases. And yes, I do feel somewhat parochial in the conversation, but I've got a whole lot of people out there that are thinking we let them down. I just think I just think that there's a process that's going on right now that's ongoing. And for us to, and I apologize that I probably shouldn't have said anything earlier. I should have just kept my mouth shut about it um, because I did weigh in on it and I, and I shouldn't have. Um, but I now the more that I think about it and talk about it is why there's a process going on uh, between the state and the town and Beckett and the town that maybe that ought to play out before we make any decisions on it. Well, there's another component if you eliminate the word Newberry from the conversation for a moment, and that is where do we locate a facility like this that makes sense? And that's a different part of the conversation. Uh, it could bypass the Newbury litigation altogether, but do we as a committee have some responsibility to say, you know what, we've got certain requirements for these kids and um, certain locations don't have those requirements and others do. And if we're posing a, a particular location and we recognize that the, the services and the support systems are not there, should we be taking a formal position? Well, Chair, um, we really, honestly, in my belief, shouldn't be taking a position on what the kids are and, and how they are, no matter how we feel about it, no matter how we believe about it, we should be just talking about the building. And, um, and, and because that's the committee that we are, we're, we're a building, we're a committee that is responsible for brick and mortar, and we're not responsible for where the kids go or, or even, I well, for where the kids go. We're really responsible for the building in itself. And I, I can simply say that there's litigation going on or there's a conversation going on that the town doesn't want the building that we're, our committee is responsible for. And, I think that that process ought to play out before we comment on it. Anybody else want to weigh in? Senator McCormick. I think in fairness, the argument uh, that I just made on my own and the argument that Senator Mazza made that I endorsed, uh, I would feel a little bit inconsistent if I didn't back you on 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 saying the same thing about about uh, Newberry. It's um, and as far as the brick and, and mortar issue, and I, and I do respect that that we don't deal with program, we deal with brick and mortar. 
but I think part of brick and mortar is do the brick and mortar belong there? Deciding is that the right place to put it? Uh, I think is is a uh, is I think our domain touches on that. I don't think it overlaps, but I think it touches it. And uh, the question is, is this an inappropriate place for our brick and mortar? And I think it. it, it I, I think it is, and I would, I would also hate to see us getting into a hot potato, uh, uh, a thing of, well, uh, you take the problem. No, you take the problem. Uh, I think we've got to find a place that is less problematic and that easier said than done. I but think we, we know that to these get... two places are not good. I'm, I'm sorry, Senator McCoy, I didn't no, mean to step up with you. I, I think that that time will come once it's decided, once once the litigation stops or or settles out i mean as of right now there's not a chance for anybody to raise their hand and say that we'll take that because there's not an option for that it hasn't been proposed other than one other one other one other mm. a place and um i think things need to the, the air needs to clear before uh, anybody steps forward well, just making an observation, all of your arguments on why it shouldn't go to Windsor are not brick and mortar. They are all of the other connecting components like support systems, people who want it, people who don't want it. And to me, we are an institutions committee and I agree that we don't have full control over the operations decisions but it seems to me where you put that brick and mortar has to be made by somebody. And I can't think of another committee other than institutions that would be in charge of that. Well, and I don't have a problem of saying that it's about brick and mortar. I have a problem of combining of what, what the use of it's for and then making that emotional argument about it. Um, and that that's kind of where I'm at with it. Um, you know, the, go ahead, Senator Mazza. No, no, aren't we discussing this because we have a bill that says they want $3 million to put in a temporary facility. Is that correct? Yeah, that's true. We've already, we've already decided we're not going to go yeah. forward with the bill. But, but we had a bill to work with. There is a proposal yeah. that we had jurisdiction because it did state $3 million out of our money, right? For a temporary yep. facility. That's, that's a big difference right there. I mean, because we are, we're addressing a bill. We wouldn't be talking about Windsor, I don't think, uh, unless there's a bill. Uh, and, the, uh, and, and that's and the other one, uh, Woodbury, wherever it is, uh, someone's going to make a decision of where they are in the litigation, whether we have any axe to grind or not. Once we find out where this stands, and I don't know how long that's going to take us one year, five years, or you know more about this litigation. Uh, yeah, I, I couldn't tell you with the court system the way it is right now. But Becky, this particular project in Newbury, didn't they come and get money through the capital bill to begin the whole process? Uh, there was money. I think it ended up being in the, the, the budget bill actually. Um, Eric's giving us the Nazi salute. Hi, Hello. Uh, mostly I try and stay out of this, but uh, I saw an opportunity to be helpful. Yes, it's general fund. It's not involved. It, the capital bill is not involved in this. Yeah, they, they, yeah. They and I think it's that $3 million amount that is a reference in S245. Um, so in that bill, they were essentially reallocating what was in the general fund for that purpose. Um, to fit up Windsor right. um, for this facility. So why would they have come to institutions with that bill? Because the three with, million. Sorry, out. with with the proposal. The three million is that coming out of the capital bill? No, that's coming out of the the budget. It's yeah, general so funds. For, so why do you think they referred this particular bill to our committee? S245 yep. um, because it's it, it would be um, fitting up a facility yep. 
and because it is creating a plan for a long-term facility. The, the funding for the fit up, the sort of temporary fit up was just reallocating those general funds, but long-term, if you were gonna come up with a plan for a permanent facility, that would likely be capital dollars. Hmm. Well. Time that you talk to the chair of appropriations, uh, Mr. Benning. I think. Well, someone has to decide sooner or later where, where, we're, where we're going. I mean, it's, we can, you know, it's. Yeah. No, I hear you. Um, I, I do. I mean, I, I need to look into this appeal process a little bit more, but it is definitely possible that the appeal would go on longer than the legislative session. Oh, I bet. They can drag that forever. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Becky, if you could look into that, I'd like to just get some lay of the land, so to speak, to understand what's out there. But I'm now pausing to think of wonder why they assigned this bill to us. Because technically, we have nothing to do with whether 3 million comes out of the budget to invest in this particular refit. I'll wrestle with that with the approach. Well, I, I do think uh, any fit up, and, and Eric can weigh in here, but any fit up that's actually done, at, you know, no matter where the dollars are coming from, but it would, it would be BGS doing that work. Um, so BGS would be fitting up a state owned facility. So that does seem to fall under the jurisdiction of your committee. Well, the wacky part of it is if we decide we're not going forward on this bill, there's nothing that I would imagine stopping appropriations from deciding they want to go forward on the bill if they want it. If they well, I think that they do have to address this $3 million somehow that was appropriate. If it's not being used for that purpose, then they probably have to address it somehow and you know, make some sort of policy decision associated with that money. Yeah. But I'm sure if, if they talk about it, it's going to, if it comes down to the money part, they can discuss it, but it's going to come back over to institutions, I think, for the money for the, uh, it, it would be a state owned building. So I, unless they got some secret <clears throat> use, but uh, even if they were to say yes, I'll bet you would come back over to us for money. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so Beck, you got some work cut out for you. And I'm sure Alex can pull up the transcript if you need to iron that part out. Anybody else want to weigh in on anything? I think that does it for the afternoon.